Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Just some shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody, except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. I don't know that we should be going out to that barn by ourselves. Except for David's clues, there were... Those were the only ones that, that I saw that had anything about Rachel. Okay. Yeah, so I think we had to pick Kate. I was just hoping that we weren't missing anything. Or like that we didn't, didn't have to choose between Kate or Rachel. Holy shit, this is scary. I know, but we're here. Let's go find the best way in. I don't like this at all. I think it's not a good idea to be going out to this barn alone. Whoa, check this out. <laughs> I made a Fresh face. tire tracks. <laughs> I saw myself Dude, somebody was make just a here. face. Then we need to get in that barn. Chloe is so damn fearless. Where does that come from? I can take a guess on that one. Warren. You still paid your hero dues. Now we just need costumes. Speaking of, I hope you're coming to party tonight so we can celebrate. Did I miss something? Oh, they're talking about the movie. Then, indeed, I'll buzz you later. Thanks for pulling me off, Nathan. Talk about going ape. He deserved a beat down, but I don't want to stoop to his level. Ha ha! So he did make a good decision. I felt good about it anyway. Besides, somebody is going to kick his ass sooner than later. You're wise, Grasshopper. Thanks, but I wasn't exactly the hero this town needs. What's that saying? The hero, the... This isn't the hero the town needs, but the hero the town deserves. You still paid your hero dues. I believe that was like from Dark Knight or something. Now we just need costumes. Speaking of, I hope you're coming to party tonight so we can celebrate. I'll let you know. Promise. Cool. Now I have to calm myself down. Okay, so we've got a... Oh. Tire tracks. Hmm. These are thick tracks and definitely fresh. Nathan's SUV? Okay, that big ass truck is not an SUV. It's like a long bed pickup truck. I have an SUV. That is not an SUV. And I don't have a fancy one. I have a beautiful old orange Xterra. Oh, I can take a picture. I'm like being defensive. Like, my SUV is not hoity toity. <laughs> I do go camping and stuff, so. I'm. De I'm I defend it in that way. Open, goddammit! Open!
Chloe, I found the front door. Come on. You got that picture right on time. Yes. You took it right Maximus before the bird rules. was gonna fly. Awesome. I've missed so many pictures. God, this is way too Blair Witch. So I'm glad I got I one. all over. Come on, Supermax. This is not. This is really creepy. Hey, check out this old chest. A little louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, uh, look closer. Harry Aaron Prescott and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescotts bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Aw, thank you. J JB, JBP30. That's really yeah, sweet of you to say. Old Prescott clippings. <sighs> but that can't be the only thing here. This barn, I, I, we absolutely should not be in this barn by ourselves. Oh, Griffin, I was thinking about the vlogging. When I was talking about my truck, I was thinking like, I'm gonna end up just vlogging for you. Vlogging, that's what I'll call it, vlogging for Griffin. Okay, there's no reason for anybody to drive out here, but there must be. This tractor has paid its dues. Scope out the perimeter, Max. There has to be more here than this crate. Well, I'm not scoping out the perimeter if I'm inside the barn. The perimeter's wow, on the outside. Talk about home on the range. None of this is telling us anything. Should I go back outside? There's no way this rusty ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. I'm scared like a body's gonna fall out of the rafters Damn. or something. Lots of info here. Huh. These hooks are used to lift haystacks. I saw them in a Friday the 13th movie. If a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. What's that? Ah, the good old days. So many haystacks, so few needles. So many haystacks, so few needles. What is Hold. it? Hold. We're not, nothing's telling us anything. Am I just being like really <sighs> impatient? Here. Basement? Yeah, like, what is that? It's like pieces of metal. I can't tell if it's metal or. We already looked at the tracks. It won't let us click on the rusty button or like do any of these levers. No more secrets, Sean Press. Should we go back outside? Whoa. Whoa. What is this? I don't want oh no. It's oh no. It's totally brand new. No, no, no. Why? No, no, no. No, no, no. No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. Pitchfork. Where's the pitchfork? We can use that to pry it open. Okay, Chloe. Um, I, I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. I got this. Ah, oh, the good there. old days. Where's the pitchfork? Pitchfork. There it is. I want to take it. Pretty sure this old pitchfork won't open a padlock. I'm pretty sure. 
pretty sure Try again, it Max. might. I'm pretty sure that might open a padlock. <laughs> oh. Now I can use the rusty button. Where's the rusty button? There's no way this rusty ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. Well, I just attached the hook. I can't look, it won't let me like look straight up. It's up there. Can I get up there? Is there any way to get up there? We've got a, oh yeah, climb. Chloe, can you give me a hand? If we can like Side jump on it service. and use our body weight to pull it down, then it'll lift up the creepy ass basement hop, hop door away, Super Max. that I, I don't want to go into. All right, where are we? So can we like jump for the hook? There's a hook there. Sure, we'll do that. <laughs> but what? No, I can climb up there. can't pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. Why not? I need to hook this up to something heavier. Like what? Oh, owl. Well, what do I have up here that's heavier but my own body weight? Here's the other end of the rope. Can't I just like grab it and jump down and go, wee? I don't want to find Rachel in the basement. You're going to make, I don't like, I don't want my feet to touch the ground now. I'm freaked out. A safety sweater. It's gonna protect me. The generator. How am I gonna get the generator up to the top platform, though? It's down there. I use that to climb up here. Huh. It has to be something that I can bring up here to this top level. Like, can I tie a, tie a bale of hay to it or something? Good evening, Doctor Who. <laughs> Sorry. Can I climb up higher? I wish I could jump. that that highlighted for a second oh that's the rope hmm can we not grab that hook no it won't let us like that hook out there no it won't let us grab the hook or the rope see I like I picture you know you you just take the rope and you like jump down like a pirate I saw that on Mythbusters, and that apparently is Matt, not... I could use this old motor with that rope and hook. Oh, well... Okay. 
So it wants us to use the old motor with the rope and the hook, but I can't take the rope down here. And it just told me to rewind. I get it, I get it, I get it. I need to pull that back down. And then I need to get up there. And then I need to rewind. So it's not pulled down anymore. Okay, now I need to move out of the way. And then pull the motor back up by rewinding. There we go. Okay. Oh, so that didn't work at all. I didn't want to do that. You're supposed to tie it. What the? Oh my God. she was gonna push it off the edge without tying it. <laughs> I just... I thought she was just gonna pull it like near the rope or something. Alright, here we go. Now. Now it's attached. Skyver strikes again. Oh. How am I gonna get down? Huh. Oh, okay. <clears throat> I thought she was just gonna pull it to the next rope. Well, it said pull, but when we actually, we pushed it over the edge, that's pushing. I didn't think it was going to be that dumb where she just pulls it and then pushes it over the edge without attaching the rope to it. But, oh well. We did it. Oh god. Oh, it's a hatch. Oh my god. I gotta put my feet up. Damn. This is heavy. No. No, no. Nobody wants to go in there. What? I... Is this? Jackpot. This is like in Lost. This is like in Lost with the Hatch. Do I even need to say how weird this is? No, you don't need to say how dead. weird it is. Who built this kind of place? Oh my god. A press god, of course. I don't want to go down the stairs. 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 Oh my god, what? What is this? Oh my god. Oh, I don't like this. This bunker is so surreal. <sighs> this is too heavy to break, so I'll need a code. A code? First a padlock? Then a digicode? Someone really doesn't want visitors. Three. Griffin. Three. What was that one that was written on the little piece of paper that was three? Do you remember? Um. Shoot. How are we supposed to know? Five, four, two. Oh my God, Griffin! Griffin, Griffin, Griffin! 
<gasps> I don't want to go in yes. there. Oh god. I thought that only worked in the movies. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Open sesame. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. This is like Bioshock now. Oh. Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. I guess it's like Come a bomb on. shelter or something, but it's like medical and creepy looking. Now what the hell is this? Water supplies. It's like in David's garage bunker. More survivalist supplies. Do you think they know? Even comes with flickering lights. I know, right? Do you think they know about the storm? Look at these cans. <gasps> Mushroom. David must shop at the same store. Makes me hungry. Whoa. This says it all about Nathan. He needs help. Dear Mr. Prescott, as Nathan's primary psychiatrist for over five years, I feel that I should stop seeing your son, as you have disregarded my rather dire and immediate suggestions for his and others' well-being. You know well the extent of Nathan's challenges, but I feel that you refuse to acknowledge the role you play in his mental health. Oh. I, if I do not have your support, I cannot treat Nathan. It is as simple as that. I fear he is becoming even more disconnected from reality, even if he acts in a personable manner. You have ignored my requests for a consultation with you and your wife, so I have to assume you are no longer interested in my services. Regardless, I care about Nathan, and I believe he needs serious help. If you would like to talk about this matter, I am always available. Best Dr. Jacoby. That's again, that's not surprising at all from what we know. It just kind of makes it official. Uh, duct tape. Duct tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. What's the press got some creepy art? Oh my god, I don't want to go in there. What's this? That's one of those giant industrial printers. I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. Yeah, but that's used for like... Oh my god, look at that picture! Oh, I don't like any of this. It's all really freaking creepy. <sighs> that son of a bitch. I'm not sure what... This is a son of a bitch thing about, but Stormbreaker Bunker. It just makes. I wonder if he knows something about the storm. Do you think it's like sci fi where he's doing something that's gonna make the storm happen? And then he, then he can buy the land for really cheap and then build, build his whole like real estate stuff on it? Like. Hmm, I don't know. Talk about tortured. Yeah, you can't read it. You can't read it at all. Oh yeah, school suspension is a deal breaker in the Prescott family. I can't read that either. Principal Wells has informed me that you have been suspended due to some suspect Vortex Club activity on your part. Never mind that. I just want you to know that I want you to know what kind of shame you've once again brought on this family. I've given you everything you've ever wanted, including Blackwell Academy. What does that mean, I've given you Blackwell Academy? Does that mean just tuition? Among other things, we shall not mention... What the hell does that mean? But nothing is ever enough for you. You've, you're still my son, and I want you to fulfill our destiny. More of this destiny stuff that's really weird. I want us to fulfill our destiny. It's just, there's something just weird, like supernaturally weird or sci-fi weird or something about it. That day is coming. 
sooner than you think. So be prepared to step into that responsibility. This is my final warning. Now, his father's name is Sean Prescott, but the um, whatever we found before was Harry Aaron Prescott. So I don't know who that is, who Harry Aaron Prescott is, but his father is Sean. I want to look at the note. Whoa. What is going on between Nathan and his father? Nathan, I've told you to never... What does that say? I, it's so hard to read. I don't know if it wants us to fully read these. I've told you never to call me using your phone. Oh. Stick with the disposable ones I give you. What the hell is going on? I don't want to hear you screaming out my name in a public place, which you have stupidly done before. I haven't set all this up and shared my vast wisdom just so you can fuck it up with your... I, I don't know what that says. Something. We can accomplish a lot together, but you have to let me guide you. Or your... I don't know what that says. I can't read it. Maybe paid off all the faculties. Maybe paid off all the faculty so they gave him good grades and just swept away everything that could be without seeming suspicious. Yeah, you're doing a lot better than me at reading these. Or you're on your own? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Or you're on your own. You're right. Ah, it's like, <laughs> it's literally making my eyes sting. Some like real tiny, tight, stressed out cursive. Yeah, that's right. So yeah, I gave him Blackwell like either that he's attending it or um, that he's covering for him when he's getting in trouble. But he's using these other words that are grandiose you know he uses words like fulfill our destiny and just that kind of language makes me wonder what's going on in this storm shelter too like do they know something do they have are they somehow involved with the whole time loop stuff like i don't know it's just it's weird Let's see what's in here. Oh, God. Oh, my God. No. That's hard to look at. Can we take a picture of that? Well, we've got them if we look make it out of shit. here alive. That's an original signed illustration. <sighs> Fits perfect in here. That was a really disturbing picture. <gasps> the file! The file on Rachel! We've seen flashes Come of on. this Let's a see number what this shit of times. Is all about. We are. Okay. A binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all, these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's 
out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Shit. Oh my god. Rachel. Kate. All these vials. This place actually feels evil. Kate looks so doped up. She has no idea she's being posed. Oh, I guess we could turn that page. Kate looks so doped up. At least Kate was asleep through all this bullshit. This picture is framed different. Rachel is awake and fucking furious. Well, there's only one more chapter after this, so we'll figure it out. But we didn't get to look at the rest of the room, Chloe. Oh. Rachel has passed out, and she has something in her mouth. What happened to her? This shot is so staged. I, I, I can't believe it's real. I can't. Yeah, we got more stuff to look at. Ah, the Apocalypse Entertainment System. So they're... Are they making, like, snuff films? Or... I don't know. They're doing some kind of illegal... something. These newspapers are all about Rachel and Kate. Somebody hikes their whiskey. Needles. Gross. This must be the crap that Nathan gets from Frank. It's like this whole, fo like, creepy... The creepiest possible photo studio. So who's using this fancy tripod? I've never seen so much pricey equipment before. Did we get everything? This is just... Just really freaking creepy. So, they didn't kill Kate. And I doubt, given who Victoria is, they're, they're, the intention is to kill. I wonder if they... The whole thing is to, like, drug young women and then pose them and photograph them. And um, maybe something went wrong with Rachel. And, like, killing... They killed her, but they killed her by accident. I'm wondering if that's what happened. Are we closed in here? Okay, God, I got scared for a second. Like, oh, let me... Let me out of this freaking creepy-ass basement. Oh my God. <laughs> You're laughing at me. It was so scary down there. The door was closed. We walked up the door. It was closed. I I don't think. I mean, I never Boy, thought Rachel down. was alive. Wait for me. I know exactly where I'm going. Look, this is it. This is it. 
you're gonna help me, Max? She's gonna dig with her hands. Chloe, stop! Look. Please, no. Oh, that smell. Rachel. Oh. No, Rachel, no, no, please, not her. Chloe, I'm so sorry. I loved her so much. How can she be dead? What kind of world does this? Who does this? Even though I said that's what I thought happened, it's like watching... I can't even say it. Watching Chloe react is so intense. But I, bet, I bet that's what happened. I bet that they have the whole photography drugging thing and I think they probably just went too far with Rachel and I she Nathan like, enjoys his last party. They, they overdosed her or Chloe, something. We can go right to the cops. We have Damn. proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. No, go to the freaking the police. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Go to right. the big city police or like I'm with you to the, the end, FBI Chloe. or something. You know that. Not small town police. Go to Seattle police. No, Chloe. Oh, shit. This is like that eclipse. You're right. Look at the outline. I can't tell if they're different. What is there that? Can't be too much. Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky. What? Beautiful. I don't give a shit. There's two the moons. Ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. There's two moons in the sky. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you all right after today? I'm glad you stopped me. Nathan is dangerous. He's drunk. Do you Where think is it's, he? It's like I didn't see him at the dorm again. Two timelines I was converging held up in my room. together. Dude, have you been drinking? Well, if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but. Can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so... Why aren't they freaking out that there are two moons in the sky? For prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. Not prosperity, I know, I know. posterity. Pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh... Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. 
Again, hello, two moons. Not normal. Where the hell are you? Ugh, I hate to think oh, we have control clothes. again. It is kind of bad. Plus, some of the Vortex Club always give me attitude. Stella, that's what they're here for. Uh, hi, Stella. Hey, Max. Welcome to the end of the world. Do you want me to check anything in? Uh, no thanks, Stella. Have you seen Nathan yet? No, thank God. That boy creeps me out. Wait, some girl just asked about Nathan before you came in. What girl? She had blue hair, dressed like a punk. Oh. I've seen her putting up those Rachel Amber posters. I'm stuck here, so I'm sorry I can't help you. So why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. Screw that. I'm here for the job. I like how we were just walking and not running after Chloe right there. Yeah, right? <laughs> but two moons, two moons. So I think, I kind of already have said it, but I think that the two like parallel realities are converging and maybe that's what's gonna create the vortex. I don't know. Or we're inside the snow globe or maybe both. Um, who hired you? That's a good question. Anything unusual? Um, I want to ask both. Who hired you? Mr. Jefferson asked me because he knows I don't have a lot of money, even with my job and scholarship. I'm not cool enough for this school. Yes, you are, Stella. You're smart, honest, and you bust your ass for Blackwell. I hope everything turns out your way in the end. Huh? Thank you, Max. I really appreciate that. Hey, your face looks so intense. Are you okay? Uh, no, I'm actually not okay. I, I just need to find Nathan. And don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. Thanks, Stella. farts. You're a young old fart. Turn that music down! Let's see. Well, I wonder if I just turn music down. If that will... I don't know if that's a sound effect or a music. I'll just turn them... I'll turn that back up. And then I'll turn this down until we're out of the scene. Brooke and Stella are two Everything different people. Looks evil to me now. <laughs> I thought party Brooke and exactly. Stella were like the same person, but they're not. Is she mad Warren asked me out? Oh. 
Hello, Brooke. I, I get distracted. I didn't expect to see you at a Vortex Club party. I didn't expect that either, but I really need to find Nathan. Have you? No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. I just hate that scrub and his club. Why are you here? So why are you here tonight? No homework? Boredom? Waiting? Have you seen Warren tonight? Waiting for what? Why? The two You're moons the to out with collide? Look, enough. I, I am sorry Warren asked me to the movies, but you don't need to give me an attitude. I'd like to think I'm your friend. I know. I get salty when things don't go my way. I'm selfish while you go on a roof to help save your friend. You're not selfish, bro. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise and kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. Check to see if you can fly. You have no idea. Double moon! Only with your drone. By the way, did you see that crazy double moon out there earlier? Max, if I saw a double moon out there, I would assume it really was the end of the world. Oh, well, nobody else can see it but me! And so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. Nobody else can see the double moon. I still can't hear, I can't hear myself think. I'm so old. Double moon. No one else can see the double moon. And Ma I love how Max is so nonchalant. Like it's a full moon or a harvest moon or a blue moon. She's like, hey, you know, did you see, did you see that shooting star out there? Like it's a normal, two freaking moons. That's, I mean, that's an entire, another like body <laughs> in the sky. <laughs> and Max is like, hey, did you see that double moon? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay. And we're the only ones that can see it. I think that... I think there's two realities... Converging. We already spoke to her. Energy drinks. Soda. Energy drinks. I know somebody has the booze. There's Courtney drinking alone, without Taylor or Victoria. I wonder why. Well, Victoria's the next victim, right? I just had a thought, too. Yeah, dude, I agree. Um, Nathan is a drug dealer, and he gets his supply from Frank. So he might not have been, uh, he might not have gotten that uh, date rape drug for himself. He might have been selling it to someone else. And I have a theory that I hope I'm wrong about. School days. <gasps> I almost didn't see you. Max, you're the only person I don't mind seeing right now. I was looking for Nathan. I've avoided almost everybody here tonight. Uh, why are you looking for Nathan? I don't want to arouse any suspicion. No big deal. Really? You look pretty fucking intense. Is Nathan bothering you? I have dreams that somebody finally kicks his ass one day. Luke, sometimes dreams come true. Today I saw Warren give Nathan an epic headbutt. Yes, give it up for Brother Warren. Now all we have to do is drive all these goddamn Prescott vampires out of town. Prescott vampires. I think Sean Prescott wants to drive all of us out of town. Or into Penn State. I met him once at a Bigfoot's game. He fucking bastard. Oh man, he explains Nathan. Preach it, Brother Luke. Okay, I have to get going. Um, thanks for seeing me. No, thank you. For helping Kate. And for keeping it real. Peace out. No one seems to know where Nathan is. Is he hiding or something? Bigfoot on otter action.
That need that needs no comment. What just happened? Oh, oh it's one of those noodles. Anybody in the pool that we can talk to? Alyssa? Oh shit! Alyssa! Are you okay? Yes! I just got tagged by a water weenie and fell in the pool. I'm queen of the world. And you're always nearby when I'm targeted. Maybe you could warn me one of these days, Matt. Sorry, Alyssa. I think you'll survive though. I think it's gonna be okay. I think there are worse things in the world. Like, and also, what are we do? We go to this party, we, and we freaking found Rachel's body. What the hell are we doing? I don't want to go in there, I'm scared. I'll look at the glow sticks. What would a shitty party be without glow sticks? I get the whole small town being run by the Prescotts and all that stuff. Where's the city? I mean, go to the Portland police or whatever the nearest big city is. Why isn't Courtney guarding the list for the VIP section? Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only, okay? Sorry, but I'm on the list, okay? I know that Max Caulfield is not on any list for the Vortex Club. Nice try. Listen. No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. I thought I was on the list. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. Hey, Max. What are you doing in here? Yeah, are you Not anymore. I can drink more later. Oh, what was in that shit? Energy drink in Everclear. Oh, God, my stomach. Why can't I do anything on that graffiti? Who just said, hey, Max, what are you doing in here? Yo, Maximum Overdrive, about time you got here to save this lame rave. Wanna get ripped? Uh, you look pretty ripped I'm already, Justin. And not happy. Why did you even come tonight? Where else could I go in Arcadia Bay on a Thursday night? Besides, Dana is here. Just not with me. So yes, this party sucks. Speaking of, have you seen Nathan? Oh, he should be freaking out in the VIP lounge with that whore Tex club. Fucking hate those snobby douchebags. Especially Nathan. That dude is gonna go on a rampage soon. Yeah. You might be right, so stay away from him tonight, okay? Spread the word. Max, I know I'm twisted, but your face looks so fucking intense. And your voice sounds different. You okay? How about a quick dab? Uh, no, I'm, I'm cool, Justin. And I have to get going. Maybe you should go chill somewhere else. Fucking A, Maximus. You're right. I'm only torturing myself here. Plus, I'm too loaded. It's time to get my board and grind. I thought ripped was like strong, like when you're ripped, like you have a six pack in your stomach, and I thought that was dabbing. So I don't know what half the stuff he's saying means. The tide is turning. Exit the Vortex Club. How come we couldn't do anything with that graffiti? Mm. Kill the Prescotts? Chloe must be around. What is that? Is that... What is that, Griffin? What is that little kitty thing? Enrage rip. Oh. Rip. Are you saying that in reference to being ripped? I thought ripped was like, you know, ripped. Like, ripped. 
And I get, I'm assuming that he is just talking about some form of intoxication and that dabbing is talking about something about drugs. Somebody's either having sex or throwing up. Or both. Ugh, Max. Good night, sweet prince. Maybe you're not the only one who has to get sick. Ugh, gross. How did this even get here? How do you think it got there? Come on, we're not that naive. Ew, is he trying to pee? What are we doing in here anyway? I'd like to tear every one of these things down. We're trying to f figure out a way to get into the VIP room, which I'm pretty sure we secured... We secured on ourselves on the list. Alright, well, I guess. Yes, you do suck. I'm so not impressed by this VIP crap. Oh, can we not? Oh, we can't even go that way. Hey, is there a way to get in? Griffin, do you remember the way to get in? Like, maybe we can get in through the back way? Cause that was the boys locker room. I don't even know, I don't even know lol, but it's the closest emote I have to looking like a dab and it's also rip lol. Oh, I see it's little hands now. It's little hands are, da it's dabbing and rip at the same time. It's a little mini dab. IDK, can we not go to the other side of the pool? Yeah, let's run around there. Let's do that. It won't let me run. I'm hitting shift. <laughs> maybe it'll get revenge. Maybe it won't. Rachel. Let us go. Can we get in the, the water? Last thing I do. Um. Yeah, hmm. we can. I could push this out of the way and officially crash the VIP section. Okay. Uh-oh. Whoa, whoa, what the fuck is going on? Whoops. Okay, okay, whoa, whoa, who stopped the music, okay? Oh my god, DJ Zero is checking me out. Just run by and rewind. Yes, you. Then we'll be on the other side of it. There we go. There we go. We're getting in. Griffin, you're so smart. Maybe the list we got ourselves on was just to get into the party and not the VIP. Yeah, you're probably right. One from Kate. Thank you so much for coming by. You lifted my heart. Kate, Was I was so happy to see your smile again. You mean so much to me and to, to so many others. I have to go, but I also wanted to say have fun at the movies with Warren. He's so sweet. He brought by some school books I needed. Give him a hug for me. I will. Uh, call me as soon as you can. No, my twit. What? My Twitch was acting so good until now. I buffered a few seconds, but back again. Okay. Well, you didn't miss anything. We pushed that big, uh, like, I don't know. It's like the the things that make the lanes in the big pools, like the rope things. We pushed the roll into the water, walked to the other side, got caught, rewound time, and now we've just walked in the back curtain to the Vortex Club. And then I read a text from Kate. So we just walked in. I see feet back there. What's going on back there? What is going on back there? Nathan is the Vortex Club. So his ass has to be here tonight. Why would I sit down? K 
Kate almost dead. Rachel dead. Enter the Vortex Club. Look at these Fate. entitled assholes. They don't give a shit about anybody. If that tornado came right now, I would just sit here and watch for a while. But I have to make sure Chloe doesn't go on her Is own. Is that Taylor way. passed out on the couch? <sighs> I hate feeling this way. Dark and angry. Yeah, I don't like feeling dark and angry either. I don't see Victoria or Nathan. I thought I saw Ta I thought Taylor was the one passed out on the couch. There she is. Did we skip something? Going to a party after this. You get through my dad. He can press yes, but can he do this? Yay, Max! I can't believe you showed up. Why didn't you tell me? We could have dressed up together. As you can tell by my outfit, I, I was in a hurry. Dana, have you seen Nathan around? Hell no, I've been dancing with Trevor. Come on and dance with us. <laughs> Look at Trevor trying to bust a move. End of the world? How's the end of the world going? Great! This has been the worst fucking week of my life, so I needed to act like a carefree student tonight. For Kate. I hear you, Dana. But I want you to avoid Nathan if you see him, okay? I will if I want to have fun. I still feel sorry for him. He needs help, but not from his family. It's all wrong. It's all wrong. The Vortex Club is also it's enabling him. It's all wrong. I know. Juliet wrote a story yeah, describing it like a cult, and I'm starting to think she was right. It's not fun anymore. It sounds like you're ready for a change. I don't need any club to be cool or have friends. Look at you. Plus, I like hanging with Trevor and his skater friends. No drama. That sounds like a plan, Dana. I'm glad Trevor is with you tonight. Thanks. The boy cannot dance, though. Look at that. I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Yeah. That's we'll see. Oh, is that your picture so That's Victoria. That Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, you Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Do you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you. And me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I'm gonna turn it back up a tiny bit. Sorry to interrupt it right there. I don't remember what she said. I blame Nathan for dosing Kate, but nobody at that party even cared she was so wasted. It's a fucking party! Everybody is wasted! What do you want from me? Some humanity, Victoria. Well, you got Nathan busted out of Blackwell, so you should be happy. And I'm the only person here who cares what Nathan is going through. This is bigger than a problem, child. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. She's being a bitch right now, but maybe we can... Get her to change her attitude. You have talent, Victoria. You don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's it's art. You don't have to play their way. Mr. Jefferson doesn't talk that way, and, and he's famous. On point, Max. 
Thanks for admitting again that I have some talent. Not that I think I always do. I don't either. That's the choice you make. Hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choice. Do you think it's like fake we're not supposed to be friends? Why the hell not? We're both into art and photography. We're both kind of weird and pretentious. If we hung out with our attitude, we'd get along fine. I almost asked you to hang out. You said my photos were abaddon Then I remembered who I was. You should have asked me. It would have been cool to compare photo notes. Maybe we're too much alike. You might be right. Well, Max Caulfield, there's still time for you to get in the vortex slot. I actually hope so. Why do you say it like that? Victoria, listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know Nathan is your friend, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her someplace dark. What? Nice try, Max, but I don't believe you. And why would he do that? That I don't know. But it was enough to make Kate want to die. And I think you're next. Max, that is crazy. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not. You have to believe me. You could have been a major bitch to me when I got hit with that paint, and I deserved it. Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people at Blackwell. Weird, but cool. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks, and I do. I can to see that. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. He's not here, and I haven't seen him. Just make sure you stay away from him. And what if it's not Nathan? Tonight, just okay? be careful. I'll let you boss yeah. me around this Stay one with your time. friends. Just don't and be I alone. I have other people I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Max. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. I've got my own protection. Um, text me if you need anything. I will. Thanks, Victoria. Au revoir. Au revoir. There's Chloe. Maybe there's hope yet for Victoria and me. I'm glad I warned her. I hope she's okay. There you are. Chloe, Nathan isn't here. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or I in the I feel like Nathan tank. is in on it, Maybe but might have a partner. Door. Yeah. Let's fail. Nathan can't hide anymore. My oh, you made it. Oh, uh. My hey, thought Mr. was Jefferson. that Nathan's a drug dealer, so he might have got it for somebody else. That was like all. On a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh huh. Well, I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost gone. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay. everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about it. No, I want to see who won. Now this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please.
And the winner is... Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Mr. Jefferson, it was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. She is the real everyday hero of Blackwell, and I can't wait for her to come back. Thank you. Victoria. Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. No. Yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. This is a long episode. I just and why haven't oh Christ. we Nathan gone to just see the police? We haven't... He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We oh my go god, did you see that? Right now. I wish I could rewind. Two moons! <gasps> one's fading away, one's fading away. That means like one potential reality is becoming less potential. It said something about the body, about Rachel's Stop body, that text. Around, Chloe. I only oh, caught like a flash, just get ready but to it only showed it for a flash. To jump us. Where the hell are we? Oh my god. I can't let my feet touch the ground. Again. We're back at the junkyard with the dead body. We haven't gone to the police. We're here by ourselves. This is really stupid. I wish I had a brownie. <laughs> I know that makes no sense. <laughs> oh, I hate this place. Oh. I don't like it either. Oh, right, we're supposed to be walking. <laughs> I don't like this place either. I have to turn up the brightness on my monitor because I can barely see. Maybe we should have called the police. I love brownies too. I make really good brownies from scratch and I have a bag of those, of Andy's mints, like broken into chips. And you put them on, like when you first put the bring the brownies out of the oven, you pour That's a layer on and it melts. So good. I'm not leaving um, for up north until tomorrow, like late afternoon or evening, so I might try to make them before I go. Brownies. I don't want to be something here. back there. Catch up. I'm catching up, freaking Chloe. How about call the police? before you and Nathan shoot each other. So creepy out here. There's the lighthouse. Oh my god. I kill that little psycho. Hey, I can't focus if you're yelling. <gasps> Please. Oh my god. Are we supposed to be looking for other things? We're just following Chloe. Are you okay? We need to hurry and get that motherfucker. Where are you, Chloe? I'm lost. Oh my god, that is the biggest rat I've ever seen. Max, please hurry. Where is she? This way? You're gonna suffer, Nathan. She's got the gun. This is just so stupid. Come on, come on. Max, Look, please hurry. Can't... Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. This is not gonna... <gasps> no. Oh my god, we're drugged! Can I rewind? I can't rewind. Chloe, look out. What the fuck? 
We can't save her. We can't do anything. Oh my God, we can't do anything. My high school graduation present for my friends was literally brownies because they knew how much I loved them. <gasps> well, you'll have to get some new graduation brownies and oh my God. Oh my God, what the fuck? What the fuck? like shot Chloe in the head and we're drugged now and we can't rewind time it's almost one in the morning but I'm tempted just to start the next little bit of just like five or ten minutes of the next episode just to see what What the hell is going on? Damn. literally at a loss for words. Nathan was, I guess, supplying... What? Nathan, though, that text, it flashed for a second. He has to know. He has to know about it because it was Nathan, like, Nathan texted Chloe like you, something about there's not going to be any evidence left or something like that. And I thought, you know, whoever it was involved after we found that whole basement thing that Rachel's death was an accident that they were just drugging young women and like photographing them which is horrible in itself I'm not like even trying to lighten that but it's not it is it's something different from murder and what's he gonna do with us I mean we just watched him kill Chloe so you know <sighs> we're a witness he can't he's not gonna let us live I can't even process all this stuff <laughs> we accepted Chloe's request I don't even know oh right that was when um no I don't want to restart my laptop stupid windows off didn't me shutting it down the last time count as restarting it? So, right. Okay, so 57%. So that was pretty close to 50-50 about how, um, the euthanasia question. Um, 
60% of people stopped Warren from being up Nathan. I'm kind of happy to see that. Chloe could have killed Frank? I didn't even know that was possible for us to actually kill Frank. 72% no one got hurt. I believe that scene by the trailer, we were just trying to get through that scene without us dying. <laughs> Oh, maybe did we not? Oh, we didn't have the gun. That's right. Maybe that's what, what altered that. Because then he gave us the gun back. Victoria believes. So a lot of people had that. We let the blue jay die. I don't think we ever got, we never got that to that part. Oh, only 7% of people disturbed the bird's nest. I feel really bad. I should have rewound, like, after we got the picture, I should have rewound and put that plank back. I felt really horrible to find out later that the nest had fallen. Found David's code. Kate helped you find Nathan's room. You didn't motivate Daniel to attend the Vortex Club party. I didn't know we could leave a message on Warren's sleep. Hey! We figured out Nathan's pin code. That took a long freaking time. I didn't think it was going to let us progress without figuring out his pin code. For his phone. I'm most proud of the three digit one. That I'm like, it was that three digit one on the little paper and then Griffin was like 542 and I was like, yeah! That was pretty awesome. So what do you think? <laughs> Should we just like take a little peek really, really quick and then go to s get, then call it a night? I want to take a little peek. I need more than that. I can't end on that. I, I won't be able to sleep. I'll, I'll be up like baking graduation brownies for Griffin and then eating them and then baking more when, when you actually do graduate. <laughs> Wow, okay. Yeah, okay. Just I can't stay up too late, but let's just let's let's just at least take a little little peek. So what do I forget? I'm like I'm so discombobulated right now. <laughs> I don't even know what to click on. Thank god I made two teas. I have my green tea. That's my backup tea. I had chai in my other, in my e-cup, my e-mug. Okay. All right, focus, focus. I guess I hit exit. <laughs> 